Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video here checking out the Samsung Galaxy A50. This is a smartphone released, uh, I think a couple of months back. A very affordable handset here. Uh, and you can get these for about 250 to 300 depending on the amount of RAM that you want in it. Uh, so this uh, is a blue uh, colour. You can also get different colours to suit you like black and silver I think. So represents really good value for money i think the a50 is the spiritual successor to the uh, a5 kind of series uh, and i'd probably only recommend you get the a5 out of the a series because it seems to be the best kind of uh, compromise between a little bit more premium design as well as uh, some nice uh, features we did used to get like waterproofing etc uh, with the a series uh, if you're looking at like the a7 to me personally i think uh, it's worth just getting last year's flagship because it gets uh, a little bit more expensive uh, with the bigger phones but this one you know as i said should strike a good balance here uh, with uh, the design as well as the functionality uh, so let's just see if we can get it open here uh, it's been quite a while actually since i looked at a phone because to be absolutely honest, all of them just seem to be very overpriced nowadays compared to, you know, back in the day when you could get a very nice handset for like 500 odd. Uh, I looked at the new Note as well, the Note 10, and it looks like a downgrade in many ways to the uh, the other, like the, the previous Note, the Note 9, which I think was fantastic in terms of what it brought to the table like 4000 battery uh, I was expecting the Note 10 actually to have a, like a 4k display or something you know something like a unique selling point maybe 5000 mAh battery uh, and a 100 megapixel camera but no you know you, you didn't get any of that uh, so yeah, I think uh, they really need to look at the pricing and the features because it seems to be stagnating a little bit. Uh, but they are still bringing out some fantastic, you know, mid-range and more affordable kind of handsets here. Uh, this, uh, you can see, looks well, well built uh, so far. It's coming with Infinity U uh, display, triple camera, and on-screen fingerprint, so similar to the OnePlus uh, 6T in that respect and in the box you do get uh, this uh, kind of cheap earphones here uh, and your type c charging cable and a quick charger fast charger samsung seems to be really behind when it comes to the charging technology i have noticed i think they've really you know been left behind by the fast charging of other companies like huawei uh, but we're just going to power this up here and have a look at it so but as i said been a while since i checked out a phone but you know it's kind of like i did say I had uh, moved on to other things kind of a bit more now so I will be checking out the odd phone here and there which is affordable uh, and good value so it would probably be a little bit more low rent as you can see I'm filling off uh, Pixel 3a here which I might do a video on actually I've been very impressed with this handset because uh, I was actually looking for a uh, like more affordable kind of handset which would be a little bit better camera than the OnePlus 6T and also a little bit smaller package uh, and I've been really impressed with the 3A uh, I think it's it reminds me actually of the old Moto X 2013 for those of you who can remember that far back uh, so we'll just go through this nice and quick so you can see we're getting a kind of uh, nice uh, position for the the uh, front facing camera which I really didn't like the position on the S10 range. To me, it just looked like some sort of weird dark moon kind of looking at the whole phone. So uh, it's good that they've finally moved it there. But, you know, OnePlus has been there for ages, so it's not, uh, you know, not a huge new thing. Yeah, face recognition, as you can see, which is nice. Fingerprints, 
and the pattern. I think Android is moving away from the face recognition because it's not very secure apparently. Um, but I've always enjoyed it on the OnePlus 6T. It's always worked fantastic, particularly when you know you're doing some sort of sports or something. You need uh, you need uh, your, your fingers all wet and you can't use the fingerprint scanner. Fantastic display on this. This is very bright as you can see. Wow, look at that. That is a nice display. I mean, uh, yeah, definitely not a budget display with this. Samsung still does fantastic displays on all of its handsets. So, you know, you, that is one thing you can guarantee with your Samsung handset. Uh, they're still having Bigsby, which is quite strange. You know, I don't think anyone really uses that nowadays, but let's have a look at some of the wallpapers. I'll just turn the brightness down a little bit. I don't think the Pixel can handle uh, too bright. And you can see, you have to let me know what the quality of this video is with the Pixel 3a, because I don't think it does 4K, or well, in fact it does, but not at 60 frames per second. Uh, but you know, on the screen it looks okay. I got really impressed so with this display. It's absolutely fantastic. I wasn't expecting it to be that good actually. You know, I was expecting it to be a bit uh, kind of budget, low rent. And you can see the actual phone seems to be nice and fast here, uh, which is good. Let's have a look at the Android. So what version of Android are we on nowadays? I don't know. Is it? I think it was uh, 9 or something. So I don't even know where to find it anymore. You can tell, uh, you know, I've not uh, looked at Samsung for a while. There we go. Android version 9, which is the, I think, latest one, uh, which is good. Let's have a look at the camera here. So you have, uh, I'm not sure the camera tech with this, is it a dual camera? So you get three actually, which is nice. Wow, three cameras for such an uh, affordable phone. That is pretty awesome. And you can see it uh, seems to zoom pretty quickly. I've always thought that the cameras on the A series tend to be a little bit uh, lame in the past. I, I thought that they could be better. Like they could have just, like for example, the A5 was. Probably the only thing that I didn't like about that phone was the camera wasn't very good. Uh, they could have put the S7 camera in there, I think. But you can see, you know, it's decent enough here. It's, uh, it seems to do the job. Let's have a look at the video. So in here we should have the settings. And you do have, uh, yeah, so resolution only full HD some compromises here and there you know don't expect your Note 10 camera to be on this thing but I think for the price as I said you can't really complain here this is a fantastic value for money uh, dual sim with this one as well I think uh, so for those of you who need to put two sims in there that is pretty good and what else is it let's have a look octa-core processor 128 gigs of memory 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 25 megapixel camera actually in this one. Uh, so that is pretty nice. So yeah, just a quick unboxing of the uh, Galaxy A50. We'll keep my eye out for some other interesting affordable phones. And yeah, you know, uh, get them on the table and see how they are. So yeah, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.